Hey guys, it's Kathy and Todd with Just Out and About. And we are the king or queen of tonight's My Drop Parade yes. here at Universal Studios Orlando. Yes. So stick around, we'll have more coming to you. Definitely. with rice is New Orleans style gumbo uh, with gold shrimp, bacon, and Julie sausage, okra, bell peppers served over white rice and this came out to be $5.99. Actually this is very delicious. It's got a very good flavor to it. It's not too spicy but it does have a little hint of spice. But it's, I mean it's really really it's good. It's got the Cajun flavor. It's got the Cajun flavor. Okay. And it's got a great taste to it. Okay. All right. Piper. What do you have? I have the jambalaya. Okay. I'll let him describe Talk. it. It's got yeah. a spicy crawfish on top. Yeah, it does. Do you eat crawfish? I do. I'm the name of Frank. Okay. Frank's gonna die. In oh minute. no. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Piper got the chicken and andouille sausage jambalaya uh, mixed rice with andouille sausage, chicken, shrimp, peppers, tomatoes, finished with a spiced crayfish. All right. It's got some beans in it, too. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let us know what you think. Okay. Wow, that's a pretty good size piece of meat in there. I think it's really good. Um, they've got beans in it as well. It has a really nice uh, flavor and consistency. That I mean, it's just all the flavors that combine with it works really well. It's a little spicy. And it's okay. Nice. Good. All right, Kathy, what did you get? Okay, I got the yucca fries. I've never had yucca fries, so I wanted to try them. So I don't know what they're supposed to taste like, but it came with the chimichurri sauce. And then this was a carnitas arepas. Mm -hmm. And the uh, that looks actually really so good. So I can't wait to dig into that. But I'm gonna try a yucca fry first. Okay, and the carnitas arepas are cornmeal cake filled with roasted pork shoulder, mayo, ketchup, uh, cheese, and micro cilantro. This came out to be nine dollars and forty nine cent. Okay, so um. The yucca fries don't have much flavor. I guess like a french fry doesn't have like a whole lot of flavor unless you flavor them. There's not like a whole lot of seasoning on here. But the chimichurri sauce is okay. Um, might have just a little bit of kick to it. But um, if, you, if you want some flavor, just dip it in that. So I'm going to dig into the arepas now. weird. I thought it was like two whole um, cornmeal things put together, but it's like one and a half. They did a sandwich like that. So just know when you're pulling it out. Okay, that is very delicious, but no, it's pretty messy. Um, so have you a lot of napkins ready if you plan to eat it. Very good. I highly recommend this. I got some beignets, some okay. nice man catching beignets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell me what you think. They're really nice and sweet, uh, very messy, and it kind of tastes like one of those Hawaiian buns, but with just powdered sugar on it. Okay. Okay, I got the Bloody Mary. I went over at the San Francisco section of the park. Uh -huh. And uh, it's a traditional Bloody Mary spiked with New Amsterdam vodka. And it's topped with a hush puppy. It's got a chicken wing on it. A chicken wing. And, uh -huh. oh, yeah. and uh, a couple of, uh, looks like pickled green beans going on. A pepper cheesy, shrimp, celery, and topped off with a sausage straw. This came around to be $19, so it's a pretty expensive drink, but it's definitely shareable, as you can see. Yeah, and you also include uh, some snacks with it, so 
All right, so Stephanie and myself. It's very, very good. Tried. It's got a good flavor to it. Definitely. Also, I meant to mention that I got it extra spicy too, so they'll keep it up for you if you want that spicy taste, which, you know, I think definitely goes well in anyway. Very good. Okay, so I just tried uh, several of the toppings of the Bloody Mary here. The pickled green beans that are on it are very spicy, which I love. Uh, the shrimp, it was just regular boiled shrimp uh, put on the skewer. It wasn't grilled, it was just boiled. Uh, no seasoning on that. And then, of course, you've just got like a sausage stick here, your celery, and the chicken wing, um, which was good and spicy. I took a little bite out of it. I had the cornbread. The, uh, yeah. That's good. Cornbread, though. Yep. The uh, little hush puppy on top. It looks like there's a pepper down in there, too. Yeah, there's a pepper cheesy. Just there's a, an olive, too. Yeah. And, uh, which, I'm not crazy about olives, but it's just a plain, plain green olive. So, there you go, Piper. Yeah, Piper the olive. <laughs> but all in all, a very good drink. Like I say, again, it came in at 19 bucks, but it's definitely shareable. So, enjoy. Of course, one of the things while we're here is that Mummy is down for refurbishment until late summer. That's a bummer for us, but looking forward to the remodel. All right, everyone. So I tried out one more food booth tonight, and uh, right before we get on the float, which I'm very excited about, it's over near the Simpsons area. And I got the vegetable vindaloo, which is cauliflower florets, sweet potatoes braised in a hot and sweet sour broth served with Basami rice and this came out at 10 bucks well 9.99 and I also got the Agish white Belgian style beer I have not taken a sip of yet so I mean really yeah and actually it's very refreshing because it's pretty warm today uh, you know surprisingly it's like right around the first of March but uh, let me dig into this dish and I'll let you know what I think about it Okay, so this dish so far today has been my favorite. The um, the cauliflower was like perfectly seasoned, you know, uh, had Cajun spices, uh, which were very good. Sweet potatoes, uh, which were braised in a hot and sour sauce. I mean, they were perfectly cooked. This would be something that you would get, like, to me, like in a high-end restaurant. All right, guys. First of two nights. It's on the Mardi Gras parade, throwing some bees, and we are on the Gator Float. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, so we're, we're kind of pumped up right now, guys. Oh, yeah, we're so happy. With yeah. the music going on, uh, you can see everybody here in the arena, you know, dressed in their different uh, outfits for the different floats. So, uh, yeah, it's highly anticipated, and we are pumped up. We're doing the crew crawl. This is like the scavenger, um, the scarecrow, and the um, Christmas tree, but we're looking for that. So here's the map, and it's just one side. It's just uh, the studio side this year. It's gonna be fun. 
So it says, embark on a journey around planet Mardi Gras and discover planet-themed masks lo located around the park. And in the end, you get a mask when you get all of them. Yeah. And the lady just told me that every week the masks are different. Oh, really? Yes, the okay. masks are different every week. That's pretty cool. I did not know that. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's see cool. what we get this week. Yep. There you go. There's your lizard-themed mask. This is the moon belt. There you go. There is the moon mask. Okay, we are here in the film vault. And these are the masks for the electric planet. Okay, here is the Sahara Traders. Okay, so we are in the supply store, which is the transformer store, and this is the fire planet. That is pretty cool looking. Okay, we're in the San Francisco candy store. Okay, we're here at Men in Black, and this is the Steampunk Planet. So here is um, the Crew Crawl for Men in Black. And this is uh, it's a space age planet. I do think this is my favorite. We are in the five and dumb, and this one is themed to the ice giant. Okay, our last one, and it's the gym planet. We finished with the crew crawl, and these are our ending goodies. And I can say that these are a pretty nicely made. All right, so Stephanie's got the uh, Ube ice cream bubble waffle, which is purple sweet potato ice cream and a matcha green tea bubble waffle topped with marshmallows, toasted coconut, strawberry, hockey sticks, and popping candies. And this came out to be around $8.99. Popping candies, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try it. Everybody's sounds, got a spoon. So. Sounds really interesting here. So what kind of hits you right away? How's that uh, sweet potato ice cream? Very good. That's what hit me. Okay. Those are little marshmallow things right there and you can taste the popping pop candy. Mm -hmm. This hit me. Is it popping? But that is delicious. It is really, really good. It's got a very good kind of a... It's like pop rocks. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's got a... Uh, not really a grape flavor to it, mm -hmm. but it's got a sweet kind of a, it's not like too sweet that'll hit you, but it's sweet enough to make it really, really good. It's got a good flavor to it. Take a taste of the uh, green tea waffle cone, man, see what you think about that. Let's see. It's supposed to be a little Tastes like a waffle cone, but it's kind of soft. Tea flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about one of the sticks? That's Piper. Pop, that's Piper. She, she likes the Piper sticks. Ooh, she's got some goodie on it, too. I like Piper. The strawberry one is really good. Wow. Yeah. Never had sweet potato ice cream before, but... It's really good, but you know what's funny about it to me? It kind of reminds me of a uh, birthday cake ice cream. It does. It does. Uh, big thumbs up yeah. for me. Thumbs up for me, too. You want to try it, Kathy? Yeah. All right. It's pretty tasty, isn't it? That's pretty good. I do waffle home. Soft. More like a bread than a yeah. waffle. Yeah. 
it's like a waffle cone. Okay, so this booth, uh, we are like right in the Simpsons area, pretty much so, on the bridge, uh, Simpsons and Men in Black. So uh, come and get some of this ice cream. The king and queen. No, my things don't match. <laughs> There you go, my queen. Have we done this before? Perfect, perfect. 